a Time. Quaswex Invoker and a Doom. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless the Doom gets a Wolf Creep, you're probably not going to be pushing towers. I thought like the goal of the team was to actually try to five man relatively early with Forge Spirits seconds. and try to Ten kill towers that way. Remaining. And then against DK mid in that particular matchup, Exort does way better remaining. than Quaswex. But they didn't have any stuns on their team. Like they hadn't known. Yeah, but Cold Snap is the only stun that you need. And you're going to be getting four Quas no matter what build you go. Oh, well, some Quaswex three. Invokers only go three, yeah. but some people go four because eventually you're going to need it anyway. For, like once you get high enough level to get two Forge Spirits as Quaswex. But I just think it's one of those choices that you say, okay, I'm favoring a much better landing presence and damage output and pushing potential over maybe landing a Tornado EMP. I just feel like unless you plan on actively moving around the map as an invoker, there's no reason to go Quaswax. Fair enough. Would okay. you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that. That's good. The other thing I noticed about EG is uh, they always draft very, very tanky supports. Mm -hmm. uh, again, standard go-to is Treant, Rave King, uh, we Rave Knight. We saw last game with uh, strength carry, strength support um, Kunkka. Mm -hmm. And I want to point out that Bane is actually deceptively tanky. Tanky, yep. yeah. He, he's not one of those like, oh, he's an int hero, but he has better strength gain than most other int, better agility gain than most int. His brain sap as well. Brain sap, Enfeeble, Nightmare, all of these spells are... If you use it on yourself, uh, Nightmare particularly, oh, you uh, could juke a lot of stuff, so. Oh. Listen cool. like the hero that was dead and came back from the grave. They buffed him after he was played a lot as well, I don't. Well, the thing is that he was played a lot, and I still remember this because uh, we were talking about that in the good show. For like two or three weeks in a row, he had a dismal win rate, like 17 percent, 10 percent. Holy shit! Really bad. And I'm not talking like five games. I'm talking like 20, 30 games. He was doing really bad, and like after two or three weeks of not winning anything, it's like everyone's like. Yeah, we never seem to win with Ten this hero, and they just dropped remaining. it, and it kind of disappeared from the air game. I'm trying to. We had a game in the Dream Sky League with some other Bristleback. Do you remember that guy? Pretty sure Radiant we had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just didn't attack him because he was too tanky. Yes. It yes, I do remember that. Where is Pro? Didn't Sadoi play a Bristleback as well? Yeah. Okay, no, no, it was, it was not. not See, though, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was I thought it was Rock's Kiss. Who it was played it. Pro, but it could have been Rock's Kiss. No, it was definitely Ten Rock's Kiss because remaining. you were talking about Sadoi because like the beginning of the game, it was an offline yeah, bristleback. It was an offline remaining. bristleback and yep. we were like, okay, this bristleback's gonna kinda feed. And then he like carried his team as yeah, an offline bristleback. He, he didn't feed for what then he got an ultra kill. No, 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 the the carry wasn't doing well in that game and like Sido was getting everything going. Yeah, I don't know. It was a, it was a good match. It was Russians. They were it all was like Russians. And Skyrath Mage. Okay, so what happens theoretically if you put Skyrath and Bristleback together mm. mid? against Wiss Morphling. I don't think you can be, And, and Wiss Morphling both buy wands and have bottles. Do you just never go to the base? You, you leave the lane. <laughs> <laughs> because Skyrath has an extremely low cooldown nuke as well. And then you have Crit, <laughs> or uh, excuse me, you have um, Quills and... Uh, the Schnott. Called? Vis viscous Nasal Goose. Schnott. And, and Napalm. Like this the game, schnott. just get that magic wand, fully yeah. upgrade that. Value I never get more value than that. If you have magic one stock invest now. No, we need meteor makers to last pick. Support Zeus. <laughs> GG. We're good. Who was it that was saying that hero was OP? Yeah, Dendi. Dendi said the Hondo. Zeus Remaining. is actually very good. It is really good. Especially against teams like this that don't buy BKBs. Dire team you can't bad. run from heaven. I was watching today a, uh, a Chinese match. Might have been DK Orange. There was a Zeus in the game. Uh, yeah, I think I saw it actually. And uh, an enemy's hero went in this and just ran away. And Zeus was like, um. Lightning ball over there. Got him. Yeah. Job Felt really done. good. Ten seconds remaining. It's really good. Um, What's the radius on it? Like two, three hundred, something like that? That like goes yeah. to yeah, two, the nearest two, target? I think two hundred. Uh, and seven fifty of reveal. Seven fifty uh, reveal? Yeah. That's oh. what it always is. And flying like. oh, It's so big. Like. Yeah. It's big. You can't juke What's heaven. a sentry ward? Eight hundred. Mm. Yeah, eight hundred. Used to be a thousand, then got nerfed to eight hundred. Yeah, right. so I think they need to pick like beef hero. There we go. Dire well, the center is still in the Tide Hunter. Okay, let's rephrase this. Remember when we said Tide Hunter was really good because there were no, no BKB heroes on the other way, on the other side? Does Rizabak go BKB? Nope. No. No. Does Ba. Right, go BKB. Yeah. Pink Dagger and four stuff, not before. Q on the lads. Yeah, they win Ranger, which doesn't People help. really, really like They like gingers, man, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see? There Nobody cheer for the Bat Rider. Nah. What the fuck? He's have you just... seen his face? Yeah, but he also has red hair. Yeah, he's pretty hot, actually. Yeah, but just because you have red hair doesn't make you a ginger, Lumi. 
Oh, oh no, they're, they're soulless. Oh, I see. I'm not very familiar with souls. I mean, what's with the name? I thought only Ginger can call another Ginger Ginger. Yeah. No. I don't know. That's how the song goes. Maybe. Did you mention? You know? I, I didn't hear it. Damn it. I don't know. You need Sorry. it in the playlist. Yeah, I know. I need to put it on. You lost me. So, yeah. Skyrath Mage against Morphling. It's pretty legit. Ten seconds. Well, uh, it's not that. No, it uh, is. It what do you mean? Morph. It, it can be. Morph. You can, can you can't waveform away, you can't replicate. You just blow them up. It doesn't stop the morph. It doesn't it's stop the, the silence does, doesn't the it? Silence does. Silence does. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah. yeah. Okay, when you say it stops it, is if you have it's it because activated, it's a continually casted spell. It's not a channel. For the spell just casts over and over again. Okay, so is, it like, is, is it like a toggle spell? It's a toggle, but it silence can, it keeps does not stop rot. Yes. <gasps> Okay. To the Google. So once okay. you start morphing, but it's an activated skill, a one-time activate. So you've activated rot, right? Yeah. It doesn't turn off at any point. Like right. you continually example, cast morph. Uh, yeah. You can't yes. just silence it. Casts and over and over and over and over. You can't turn again. it off, but oh, you keep Jesus. morphing. I don't think you do. I'm not well, sure. We're looking it up hmm. now because nobody Go. knows mechanics on this show. Nobody does. Damn. It's too, it's too late for mechanics, man. You keep morphing. So that's what I thought. Andy, please. What do you say? Don't spread lying. Dude, I don't know. Plays this hero anyway. What is it say? Five people. It yeah. cannot be silenced. Yeah. Damn it. I think you can even bet doomed and you can still strength more. Okay, maybe I'm going too far. What, what, about, <laughs> what about the chrono? We're just like randomly thinking about what? Can you strength more for the chrono? I'm not. Yes. The chrono is always yeah. a little bit different. Yeah. Well, it was, no, it was different in Dota 1. It's it was because pause, you can, no, it's no, because anymore. you can morph while stunned. It's not a stun, it's a pass effect. Well, but it's not, it's the same in it's Dota. Different. No, in Dota 2 it's the same. They explain why the slot gets revealed on the Chronosphere. Because it's like, they never kind of made a party the right. Begins. Please make a set of rules. No. I'm so confused. I betray. Then you just have clearer definitions of what's in the game, like. I guess I can get faster. I I can. They should just, you know how when you hold down Alt, you can see like advanced tooltips? Yeah. They should just have every single thing about the yeah, ability. Yeah, they should, definitely. It's like, this is how it works, shut up. Because I've played like 4,000 games of Dota, and I still don't have a clue what's going on. Yeah, that makes two of us. Right, so this Dual is not... Dual uh, but rider, support the uh, winner, yeah. Yep. Russian, yeah. Look at them right clicks, man. At zero base armor. Well, well it's uh, one base armor for the win. It's got that uh, bottle rush gold. They sent universe against Rose. Hmm. What do you think of the lane so far? Like, Eddie, what you expected? Well, the dual lane is a little bit strange. Uh, I don't think the Bat Rider is that level reliant though. Like, getting six, of course, is nice, but I don't think he's like super sad about sharing EXP with a run runner, considering his farm rate should be much higher than normal. Although, I think it's going to get to a point where Arteezy and Zai are going to be able to do fairly well, just because once they both get wands and Zai Balls. gets bottle going and everything, never going to harass him out of lane. And in actuality, I think EG could potentially go for kills in that lane once they get like level three, maybe five. Oh, they definitely can. Uh, wave in and the tether slow. A couple yeah. right clicks. Yeah. I like Bristlebuck's hat. What is that set? It's a hat. That Looks like something from Courage ours. the Cowardly Dog. Like, it's I don't even... It's ridiculous. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Like, is that like a cartoon or something? Yeah. It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon. Owns. Classic. How do you not Classics. know what that is? Right. Give me the premise of that. Okay, it's there's a TV show about a dog. Dog that's who, really, really cowardly. And there's a so. bunch of crazy shit that happens, like spooky monsters and stuff, and he just freaks out and tries to stop the monsters from doing bad things. And his owners are like two old couple, like an old couple. They yeah. don't know what's going on. But they don't know the yeah, one. It's like, ah, silly dog. You know, like, so. Saving the world. Scared the dog. I see. Show. Sure. Oh, oh. hmm. So. Rise is farming up the safe lane. Just go on Exort. I think that's pretty standard. I honestly think the MYM's draft is pretty good. Why didn't they just send Crypt mid and let Bot Rider jungle? Well, because if they just send one person mid, then Crit would lose the lane no matter what. Yep. Whereas this actually stops Arteezy from farming. So it's it's less about getting more farm on both heroes and more about stopping Arteezy from getting farm as quickly. Because, I mean, that's just got 13 CS. Arteezy has 5. And first blood First actually going to be bottom as Ace ends up dying here. Mason picks it up. Solo lane against Bane Morana is pretty filthy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not much you can do. Like. Not the best thing <laughs> in the world. 
Come on, Ace. Pick up your hat. I'm surprised that um, Rana has even got a magic stick yet. It's just like actually free. Yeah, free mana, free hope. Yeah, but it's like, you know what? I'm gonna get boots. I'm going on top lane here. They're gonna do a little bit of harass on Universe. Universe is like going back for He's got no crack and chill. He doesn't. Oh, maybe he cares a little bit. He should probably be. He yeah, actually could just die straight up if the sun strike hits. Now it's on cooldown. Right? down. Maybe he just. It says no regen. Did he <laughs> dance around for a while? No, he has to go back. If, the, if you're Invoker here, jump into the bushes and then Sun Strike, so he doesn't know. Well, I don't think... It's it's pretty low probability that it would hit. 100%. 100%. You miss every Sun Strike, you don't cast. Fucked. So, pretty, uh, pretty quiet early game outside of the fact that EG got first blood. I don't think, like, there's really anything that a Bristleback can do in that situation. He's even stacking Ancients. I guess he can quill them later, but... It's quite difficult, actually. Yeah, for now, he's not going to be able to do it. He needs levels. Hmm. What is he doing? Is he farming the... Small camp? He thinks PBD's pulling through, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah. But he's not. He didn't have vision of the camp. He only has vision to the right of it where... Uh, he can see the jungle and stuff, but... That... Didn't seem to help him when he died. Nope. Oh, so right on the top lane. Ooh. The creeps helped him, Tanka. I mean, Universe is actually having a very tough time, which I'm actually personally I mean, he's playing. halfway to five. I don't know but if he's having true. that bad a time. I think it's fine. Yeah. Like, Tidehunter doesn't need items that much. Especially when you can imagine that MYM, at least in some way, are going to be forcing aggression, right? They have a Bristleback, an Exo Invoker, and a Batrider who's probably going to get Blink. Mm -hmm. They want to fight. Yeah. So You just stand there and rub it. Yeah, the not... method of fighting is always, like, diving into you. So, uh, no, it's not always diving, but you should be able to reliably hit a Ravage even without a blink, especially if there's a team fight going on. Like, we saw a walk in Echo Slam today into three heroes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can hit a Ravage. Yeah. I, I'm in agreement with that. And Bristleback and Batrider does dive in, right? At least yeah. go in sometimes. Alright, so they're stuck in the jungle for RTZ, it looks like. RTZ or Universe. Yeah. He wants to or anchor smash his way to a blink dagger. Or it's I, man. I'm, t I'm telling you. Oh, top lane. Universe down. Oh, Ryze right. is gonna dead. die, though. He's dead. Or solo Enough. experience for PPD. He's nearly level 6. Yep, he is level 6. Yep. Alright, that's a 5 minute level 6 on a Bane. That's pretty legit. Two clarities can roll mid and get a kill. I would. He's saying you would roam. Yeah, man. Just go mid. Clarity up. Yeah, that's what he's up to. There's no vision on that side of the river. They I should have to here as well. There's a gush. We're gonna see a waveform, but he's already up the hill. Yeah, he actually oh, missed that waveform, but guess what? Coming. Into the bosom of BTD. Easy kill. BDT. What did you just call him? BDT. He just randomly <laughs> saying letters. <laughs> he's saying some random letter, yeah. ABC. Yeah. It's Peter Pan Dam. Have some respect. Look, I, I, don't, I can't even say Shredango. I know whatever. his name is Peter, but I don't, I don't think his last name is. Dam? Could be. I, apparently, PPD is a big fan of you, Shane. Yeah. And Lobby says big fan. Hey, what? Yeah, he's a man after my own heart. He likes his burgers. Huh? Here you go. So EG pushing down middle here. It's three to three one right now in their favor. I'd say MYM have a bit of work cut out for them. The Invoker is farming, which is fine, but Mason's actually out farming the Invoker, and Ryze doesn't have his Midas yet, and it's six minutes in. So that death, uh, when he was diving universe, definitely not worth. Hashtag not worth. Do you feel that a lot of these games that we've seen from MYM, um, like they have these lineups that we won't particularly call outdrafted, but it just feels like they just lose the lanes. I feel that this is just a player skill difference? Well, I think that in terms of bottom lane, like Bristleback was going to lose that no matter what. Okay, that's fair. But middle lane, I think is... The lane from EG doesn't necessarily have to win, and in reality, the only reason the CS is even close is because they were stacking the jungle for Arteezy, and he went there with Zai to help kill creeps. Like, they right? like four So they, they were like dual jungling. I think it's just that EG are way better at using the map, and giving them Radiant yes. is like kind of a problem. The bottom lane Ace is yeah. super like ultra dead. That's a Fiend's grip and an arrow to the face. Oh, the Sun Strike? I'm not gonna hit. But yeah, Dyer's I think whenever you have a lineup that can just have two heroes sitting bottom, two heroes sitting mid, 
it means that whenever a support leaves, instead of a tri lane where you have like two people leaving the one carry, and then all of a sudden there might be more pressure on that carry to farm, it's actually just going to be no, you can't go on a stone, but we're going to stop the jungle. And Hesajo is trying to get away from Zai here. Puts him on the edge. Still able to tether away though. No big deal. And we'll back off from that. Oh, this the shock Destiny. I want to re-engage here. Shark to Destiny. Silence him. No silence. Arteezy is going to come in. He wants to actually take a fight. Silence is up here on TC. There's a tether pack. They actually could broke all the time. Shackle here, but they can't. Can, no, they don't have enough damage to even shoot. What's on him? It's going to come from the backside and get a kill. There's a relocate out from each. No. Rabbit's going to get used and Silence is going to survive. Never mind about the relocate. It's only five. Okay. He died. I was going to say, like, I thought Universe was going to let Zai die there. I was like, don't let the ball die. Just ravage. Oh. I want to make it close. I don't think there is going to be any time within the next like two and a half minutes anyway that Universe would have had to have used Ravage anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Like since they don't have a blink on the Bat Rider yet, it's like, okay, well, we can't initiate anyway, so why not just use the ability? Using skills Dota, man, pretty good. One thing to point out about MYM's early gameplay is their supports never rotated as well. Uh, I didn't play a passive game against EG. It is not particularly a good idea. But that said, though, where do you want to rotate? Rotating mid against a Morphling is hard, against a, a weak Marana is hard. Well, is MYM isn't attack. supposed to rotate, that's the thing. They can't really, they don't really have... Yeah. Their, la their lanes are just built to win, like outside of, I guess, bottom. But I think EG feel that a lineup that is able to sit in the lanes, Dyer's even if they don't win them in Zai. Could be dying here, They're maybe not though. Man. He doesn't have Invoke off cooldown yet, still three more seconds. He could Sunstrike, but I think Zai's gonna be fine. He's a bottle, he could regen if he feels unsafe. Relocate's coming up soon. Dyer's and uh, we're gonna see much more gank. I think honestly it's just EG out. Dyer's top What's the word? Is under They're more efficient. So whenever a support leaves to stack the jungle, Dyer's for instance, like the mid support should have done the same thing. Dyer's the crit should have just went and stacked the woods fallen. as well. Because you have power shot to spam, you have quill spray, you have an expert invoker who could just put one point into Wex and just meatball the stacks, and you have a bat rider. There's a lot of heroes that could have abused the same thing that EG is abusing. It's just that they're choosing not to do it. Also, and Wisp can kind of get back to middle a lot quicker. Yep. Yeah. Then win winner, and he can like give more to their middle lane. Well, yeah, you can get back quicker, but it's more about the fact that they can't actually go in for kills. Like, MYM still can't kill on a 2v1. They might be able to find Arteezy, though. He's silenced up. There's no Ravage just yet. Universe gonna throw out the Anchor Smash. Fiends grip on a The way four back through two, and they're gonna be able to get two kills out of it. PPD gets one, Universe gets the other. And all of a sudden, maybe going in on Arteezy, not the best plan. I mean, even if you get that kill, you have to waste so much time to actually get it. The rest of the team is gonna be there, and with the Relocate, that is fairly easy. And but he is like full agility, by the way, almost. He's got 500 HP. Yeah, he's got strength threats for now. Threads swapping. He's, his spot was so effective, so efficient. Much efficient. Very much. Very well. Dyer's bottom tower Dyer's is bottom under attack. And he's robbing the other stack as well. Yeah, it's okay. You stacked the jungle for me too. Thanks, man. But again, it's just about EG, I think, are just playing miles Dyer's better, honestly, than MYM. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. I mean, a winner in her bat lane doesn't really have Dyer's kill potential, bottom tower per se. Is under oh, attack. And they just find Skyrath. He is a uh, very sad uh, bird man. You'd think if you were flying, you'd be able to dodge Ravage. Yeah, stuff that comes out of the ground, I feel like you should just fly over. Dyer's like if you're Dragon Knight, broken game. in ult form, yeah. you don't get hit Radiant's by Ravage, you don't get hit by Impale or Arrow Strike. Arrow strike so you're, saying, you're saying like a bird doesn't get hit by arrows from the ground or what? No. Arrows? How are they arrows? No, I'm just saying just any projectile coming from the ground. Like, no, 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 I'm saying that enough. stuff that protrudes from the ground. What if it should like hit a flying unit? Oh no. Uh, no, yeah? Oh. Gotta kill. No. JK, oh, no, not, even not, not even close. <laughs> Gotta kill, guys. Nope. Still, oh. still for life. No, what if it's like a Ravs that's Dyer's eight feet tall, tall, you know? Like, He's whatever. Okay, a bird's can't fly higher than eight feet. You see Do you me? see how big Skyrath's wings Dyer's are? You telling me he can't flap those fuckers fallen. and get himself higher off Not the ground? Not when shit armor. To go that piece of armor is hard. Whatever, man. And heavy. If it was that heavy, he wouldn't be able to fly. His feet Dyer's don't touch the ground. You're telling me he attack. only has enough wing power to freaking it's hover? Like well, the higher you get, the thinner the air. There you go. That's true. See, at least Shane brings some compelling arguments. Okay, let me just, just like, I don't know, maybe it's a little bit taller. Dyer's middle tower hits him on the is edge. Under <laughs> I'm like done. Yeah, I think we're all kind of done. It's been a long day. And again tomorrow.
Oh, Shackle. And a PPD. Not gonna latch. Oh, that's an arrow. Oh, rise. Oh, boy. Right into, right into the arrow. Right in the kisser. Yeah, it wasn't great. No, he have for more. doesn't have enough mana for his ulti. Has to also on the run. They're gonna look for him. Shackle on the Zion of all people. And a fiend grip. Long distance. They're gonna silence it, but it doesn't really matter. As his two buybacks actually crit. And the Booker oh both buy out of the Nightmare. PPD's still alive. He's getting cold snapped though. They managed to take him out. Arteezy's still on the break. Oh man, Ace, he's so low. He's gonna go down. RTZ with a double. Dyer's a double by the coming in, man. They wanna take this fight. Oh, and here comes the focus on Zai, but they really can't. Batrider's down. I don't know and the rise, I'm not sure about that either. There's a Maelstrom oh, on no. the way. Run! Oh no. Oh no. It's filthy. Oh, they kill RTZ. Oh god, Chris, no! Run away, MYM. It's oh, not safe. Oh god. It's like beating a kitten. And okay. GG. 13 minutes. Why are we... Okay, so I want to ask a really quick question. And yes. it actually doesn't have Radiant anything to do pertaining to this game. Did the games get progressively faster yes. as the day went on? Yeah. I think they did. 13 minutes. Because the first about, game... like the relative age and time or some shit. Right. The first game was what, 55 minutes? Uh, more something or less. Like yeah, something like that. Then the next game was like... 50? 50, 50, and then 45, and then like... 20? From the